Hey everybody, I'm Mitch. Welcome to MT Guitar. I wanted to uh, unveil my Cora today. It just arrived. Uh, it looks like it's been through quite a lot. Really hoping it's going to be okay. I'm going to do a time lapse as I open it and then hopefully I'll play it for you uh, once I get it tuned up. The Cora is a 21 string West African harp lute that is uh, native to West Africa. I went to the Gambia when I was 19 for a month to study with a, a master teacher and it changed my life in many ways. Um, so, I'm so excited because yeah, this was supposed to arrive early May. It's now June 1st, so I'm so excited. Wanted to uh, unpack this puppy for you all and tune it up for you all. So stick around, hopefully the time lapse will, will work. It'll be my first time trying it. So, here we go. All right, so we've got good news and bad news. Great news and some bad news. The great news is that the Cora has arrived. The bad news is we have a little bit of a broken uh, wood pole here that I can mock fix for you just for a visual until I get some wood glue on it. But this is what it would look like if that hadn't broken. I am sad, but believe me, with what could have gone wrong, part of me was expecting the bridge to maybe collapse uh, part of me was expecting many strings to break. The only string that broke is the <clears throat> high E. So what I'm going to do is put time lapse back on, restring the Cora, or not the whole thing, but just this string, thank goodness, and then uh, we'll check back in. All right, so I've successfully tuned this high E string here. It wasn't that hard because I've had a lot of practice and struggle before, but much harder is tuning it up. So we've got 21 strings. Why don't I break down what a Cora is after I get it tuned? I think the Cora would appreciate that. So we're just gonna get her nice and tuned up, sounded good, and then we can talk about the instrument and of course I'll play, all right? I'll play a couple songs you might recognize on it to break it in. So stay tuned, here we go, let's tune it up. All right, I've got it in a pretty good spot. I wanted to check in before I uh, stop the time lapse and teach a lesson. So we're we're pretty close here. So I'm going to uh, do another time lapse after I teach a lesson, which will happen right now, where I tune it up. So stick around. Well, before I do the time lapse, uh, while I was teaching an hour lesson, four strings broke. Wait, is it four? No, three. One had already been broken. So there's four broken strings. So it should be a longer time lapse than I was expecting. Uh, so. Hopefully it'll only, only amount to a few extra seconds on your, on your end, but I do need to restring four strings. So wish me luck, here I go. Holy moly. Okay. Well, I've spent about two hours straight restringing and tuning it. Uh, four broken strings, one which broke an additional time. So I guess five new strings and an hour and a half or so of tuning. So it's in tune now. So I'm going to play it. I want to play a few songs. So this Cora is pretty much ready to go. I, the first song I learned in the Cora is this one. Oh, 
it's really traditional sounding. It sounds uh, very warm and also bright at the same time. Okay, let's play another traditional song I learned. Okay, the first song I played on this that wasn't a traditional West African tune was Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. So let me play a song I heard at a basketball game with my dad, USC versus UCLA. And I thought that'll work well in the Cora. It's an 80s hit. Let's see how this sounds. excited I can't tell you and uh, my teacher in wet in the Gambia would tell me the core will reward you with hard work so if you put in the time to tune it which I've been tuning it now for about five hours I think the time lapse is very deceiving I looked at the time lapse I'm like that's okay it was like an hour and a half time lapse in 20 seconds so I feel rewarded I'm a little hungry and tired so that's why I'm kind of spacey right now I think I need to restring a couple more for the studio because I think a couple of the strings are, are a little wonky. But I'm very pleased with this. This chorus is made of uh, gourd. It's a big gourd here. It's dried out for a few weeks. Okay. It's, str it's uh, stretched over with cowhide. All right. This is a wooden bridge. This is a, a hardwood, an African hardwood, this neck. Okay. It goes all the way up here. We have two rows of strings and you play with your thumbs and four fingers on each hand like that okay so let's get a different view of this here that th those strings are just out and i'm not going to mess with it because we have some tuning pick issues there okay now this does plug in so i'm going to uh, show you how it sounds plugged in here So overall, I'm really, really happy about this Cora. Uh, I'm gonna have to wood glue this handle and you know, uh, that'll eventually look something like this. When it's all wood glued, I'm gonna have to wait until after the studio, okay? Uh, this pickup I tried out, uh, apart from the video, I'm not super stoked on it. I may have to replace that um, eventually, but I'm not probably gonna use it for the album. So, why don't I play us out with Don Henley Boys of Summer? And thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, check out the Patreon. Sun is out.
sun goes down low Driving by your house Though I know you're not home I can see Your brown skin shining in the sun I see you walking real slow When you're smiling at everyone I can tell you My love for you Will still be strong After the war Have a good night, everybody.